But a Dominican um, approach to moral theology, above all, wants to set uh, moral matters in a wider theological context. In other words, a Dominican is a born theologian. A Dominican is, of course, interested in human beings and human affairs, but a Dominican is most of all in love with God. And therefore, uh, a Dominican would be interested in seeing the whole dynamism of the moral life in its profound integration into questions of God. And so in our, our uh, the Summa Theologia of St. Thomas, you'll find um, that the Summa starts with the question of God, the God one and three, the Trinity, the Trinity of persons, and everything flows from that. I mean, the intelligibility of creation flows from that, you know. The fact that there is a world at all comes from God's generosity and love. The fact that the world is understandable comes from the procession of the Word, the second person of the Trinity. And then you see the human person as part of creation who, with the rest of creation, is impelled forward in a dynamic journey to completion, which must take account and is driven by and is drawn by God as the goal or final end of everything that exists. That's the vision that excites every, every Dominican. Uh, the fact that we are coming from God and are returning to God. And it's the negotiation of that journey, really, um, that constitutes the very stuff of the moral life. Now, with that in mind, you can see how um, the questions of happiness become of paramount importance for a Dominican moralist. So, many moralists start with the question, what am I obliged to do? Um, a Dominican with St. Thomas would start moral reflection with the question, what is it that will truly make a human being happy? See, um, Morality is all about the right path to happiness. Now this doesn't mean that any old thing that makes you happy is all right. It doesn't mean that Dominicans are crazy, antinomian subjectivists. It means that there are some, some things that will truly make you happy and some things that if you pursue them as your final end truly will not make you happy. So, so the tr living honestly, or loving truth, or loving God, uh, being faithful to your spouse, being true to your word, all those things are activities which, because they're adequate to the human person, can complete the human person to make the human person happy. Whereas failing short, falling short in these areas, uh, is a guaranteed recipe for unhappiness. Uh, so uh, lying, cheating, uh, various forms of sin are ultimately seen by the, in the Dominican tradition is self-defeating, you see. Now, we know that human beings can't make this journey on their own. We know that the goal that we are uh, moving towards is only achievable by the help, by the grace of God. And so it's another characteristic of Dominican spirituality to have confidence that the one who initiated this journey and the act of creation and um, sealed as finality, really, in the act of redemption uh, through the, the incarnation and death and resurrection of Christ, uh, we have great confidence that the one who went to all that trouble to make us and to redeem us will not fail us on our journey home to him. And therefore, we Dominicans have great confidence in uh, the power of God's grace.